बटरफ्लाई पोज फाइंड अ गुड पोजिशन वे यू कैन सिट ऑन योर सिटिंग बोन्स मे बी यू नीड क्वेश्चन और अ ब्लॉक टू सिट बिट हायर देन योर नीज आइडली योर हिप्स शुड बी हायर देन योर नीज सो फाइंड अ पोजिशन वंस यू हैव अ पोजिशन ब्रिंग द सोल्स ऑफ द फीट टूगेदर now try to bring them about 30 cm away in the beginning now the principle is if you bring them closer to your groin then you stretch more of your groin muscles if you move your toes away from you then you stretch more in the rotators especially external rotators so depends on what you want to stretch you should adjust your feet accordingly if you want to stretch both equally then you should keep them about 25 to 30 cm away from you now once you have a right position toes are together make sure you are sitting on your sitting bones in this pose not on your tail bones and now reach out forward you can walk with your hands we want to bend forward some of you might need a cushion or a bolster to support under the head whatever you need use the prop find a position where you can be comfortable in orange zone it is very easy to get into red zone in butterfly by bending forward it increases the pressure on the sacrum and the pelvic region so you can also sit straight if it is very uncomfortable to bend forward whatever position you choose keep breathing you are in a forward bend position so breath will be easy and calm wherever you feel discomfort mentally visualize the breath going into those regions and releasing the discomfort feel the flow of the energy from your crown feel the flow of energy from your palms into the ground and the flow of energy from your soles of the feet connecting together your whole body is active muscles are active but not tensed if you feel tension in the muscles anywhere try to relax those keeping them active there are many variations of the pose sitting straight lying on the back against the wall feel free to choose the variation you need butterfly pose very effective stretch for the groin
एंजल पोज नाउ स्लोली ब्रिंग योर नीस टू योर चेस्ट यू कैन कीप योर फीट ऑन द ग्राउंड और लिफ्ट योर हील्स ऑफ अप योर वट एवर यू प्रेफर ड्रॉप योर हेड टू दर नीस एंड जेंटली हग योर लेग्स एंजल पोज सेम पोज लाइक एयर रिलीज पोज बट दिस टाइम ऑन योर सिटिंग बॉन्स your upper body especially upper back gets a little bit more stretch your cervical your neck muscles they get a gentle flexion pose starting with your diamond position now this is the preferred method of course there are other methods to come in the pose i recommend to start with diamond pose in the beginning now move to one side make sure your hips are not over your heels and then cross over the leg to the other side find a good position so you are sitting on your sitting bones your right knee is over your left knee stay there for a while check if your ankles are fine sitting bones are on the ground now if if you cannot do this pose like this feel free to choose any variation of shoelace which are loose shoelace untied shoelace or broken shoelace once you have chosen the variation of your choice gently walk forward with your hands and bend over a nice deep external hip rotator If you feel too much rotation on your hips you can always walk back with your hands or choose to be sitting straight instead of bending forward You can also choose to sit on a cushion which decreases the amount of flexion which also makes it easier on the hip rotators feel free to adjust it is very easy in this pose to come into a red zone make sure you are in orange zone at any time If your knees feel red you can gently flex your feet Sometimes it will be easier for you if your feet are flexed and maybe it will be easier for you if your feet are softly pointed 
always check both options to find the most suitable position. And slowly rolling up. Mindfully change the legs, bring the other leg, left leg over the right leg. Take your time. If you prefer, you might also do a short angel pose. If you don't need it, just move on to the other side. Find the most suitable variation. Now it is possible one side feels easier. It is normal. Almost everyone finds one side easier. If you are comfortable in the position, Carry on with bending forward, walk forward with your hands, make sure you stay in orange zone. Keep breathing. Slowly going in crocodile pose, lying on your belly. So walk forward, lie down on your belly, whichever way you prefer. Place your cheek on the ground, hands under your cheek. Now toes are touching each other, but heels drop outwards. In this way, your inner legs can relax. Your glute muscles can relax. Crocodile is another relaxation pose. The whole body relaxes on the ground. Your legs become relaxed. Your glutes become relaxed. Your lower back, middle back, upper back becomes relaxed. Your shoulders, neck relaxes. If you feel any tightness in your shoulder in this position, you can always bring your hands down next to your body. Sometimes this is more comfortable for some people. Like in Shavasan, body becomes completely still. Take easy, relaxed breaths.
Sphinx pose, easy cobra. Begin with crocodile or lying on your belly. Bring your elbows under your shoulder, lift your body slightly high. Place your elbows under the shoulder. Neck is nice and long. Feet are close to each other. Now legs are active but not tense. Your glutes are gently active but not tense. Don't try to squeeze or relax them. We are here stressing the lumbar spine. Some of you might not find it comfortable in your neck. In that case, you can move your hand slightly forward and support your face. So just move your elbows forward and place your hands, cup your face. Here you go a little bit lower, but it's better to do this than to have a uncomfortable neck. If you don't need this, always go back to the regular pose. Only use props or modifications if necessary. Now easy relaxed breathing. Continue to observe your mental processes. Observe the thoughts which are coming and going. Simply observe. Ask yourselves, am I these thoughts? Or am I the observer of these thoughts? Keep breathing and mentally aware. Am I these thoughts.
sleeping swan you may start with diamond pose or downward facing dog or butterfly Gently move into sleeping swan, right leg front. Make sure to abduct the right leg. Keep the leg parallel to your shoulders as much as possible. Once you have found a good position, slowly walk forward with your hands and rest on the ground. At any times, if your right knee feels discomfort or feels red zone, gently flex the right foot or bring the foot lower towards your pelvis. Some of you might need a blanket under the knee or the ankle. Remember, it is not a competition. Use any props if you need. Do not hesitate. But also, do not overuse the props. Only use when you need them. You might need a cushion under your pelvis. You might need a blanket only. This pose is an excellent pose for increasing the range of your hip. You can rest in this pose. This is a passive pose. Let the gravity do all the work. Even the body is passive and resting, your mind should be active and aware. Stay with your body, stay in the present. More important is to keep the focus in the present. Make that your goal. Mentally accept the position. Enjoy it. Observe it. Do not let any thoughts distract you. This is your moment. Slowly come out of the pose to change the legs. Take your time for the transition. Prepare any props you might need.
find a good position with your leg make sure to abduct the leg sufficiently use any props to keep the zone orange once you find a good position lean forward and let the gravity do its work use the principle of minimal effort minimal action wu wei physically steady mentally steady body calm mind calm but observant slowly moving into child pose knees together heels together and walk forward with your hands rest your forehead on the ground now you can bring your hands next to your legs It is ideal to keep forehead on the ground and hips on the heels. Sometimes if your shoulders are feeling tight, you might bring your hands above your head. Feel free to use any prop if you need at this time. Important is that your hips and forehead are resting on the ground or on a cushion. Feel free to open your knees or heels slightly apart if required. use any cushion prop if required once you find your ideal position go into that position maybe it is with hands above your head or hands next to your legs and stay in the pose melting heart a nice deep chest opener coming on to all fours and gently drop your chest to the ground your hip should be over your knees knees can be hip width or shoulder width apart arms are forward Most of you will need a blanket or a cushion under your chest. Do not lean too much forward on your chest and do not lean with your hip backwards. Find your position. Take your time. You can open your wide hands wider or bring them closer whatever feels comfortable 
for some of you you might feel discomfort in your shoulders then you may bring your hands above your head bring your fingers above your head and rest them you have option to either place your chin on the ground or forehead on the ground whichever you prefer if you place the chin you increase the arch you increase the extension of the spine but not everyone has that capability or possibility then you can place your forehead on the ground which is also completely fine remember it is not a competition we do not want to enter into the red zone stay in orange keep breathing a deep chest opener also a nice stretch to the glutes If you feel too much pressure in your neck it means you are leaning too much forward and if you feel too much pressure in your lower back it means you are leaning too much back try to be in the center hips over the knees melting heart stimulating the heart chakra anahat chakra a gentle nice back bend the upper body is in a gentle back bend the lower body is in a gentle forward bend breathe caterpillar forward bend start with legs in front of you sitting on your sitting bones very important now at this time if you are not sitting on your sitting bones please use a blanket or a low cushion now once you are sitting properly raise your arms above your head breathe in and reach up lengthen your spine before you go forward and now reach out forward gently forward 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 and drop your head your feet are hip width apart toes are relaxed 
for some people it is normal that your toes drop inwards in the position and for some of you your toes might drop outwards that is because of the shape of the socket and the position of your socket of your hip find your position your nose is going towards your knees giving you a nice gentle round back your hands can be holding your feet or by the side of your legs keep breathing in your belly feet are gently active fingers are active feel the flow of energy from the crown of your head a very nice stretch for the spine glutes and hamstrings common challenges in this pose will be tight hamstrings or tight lower back if you cannot go all the way forward use a cushion or something if you can stay there remember touching nose to your knees is not the target the goal is to go into a deep nice forward bend within your range where you feel orange keep breathing cater pillar forward bend caterpillar pose helps to stimulate digestive organs stimulates organs in pelvis cavity breathing may become a bit challenging because the lungs are pressed during the flexion so easy gentle breaths it is important that you don't go in a very deep forward bend where you feel that you are in the red zone is possible after a few seconds you want to go deeper that is okay as long as you are in orange zone corpse pose shav asan lie down on the mat feet mat width apart arms next to your body palms facing upwards back of the neck long easy calm breaths
corpse pose dead body so let the body become completely relaxed Reclining twist, a very good twisting pose. We will start with the left leg, lying down on the ground on your back. Bring your left knee closer to your chest and gently drop it to your right side. Use your hands, keep both shoulder blades on the ground turn your head towards your left side to give a nice twist to your spine more important is to keep the shoulder blades on the ground the twist happens when pelvis and shoulders go in to different directions if you let go of your shoulders from the ground then they come in the same direction you can also choose to do the variation twisted roots you can look here where you interlock your legs and you then drop them to the side. Here you have more control of your twist. You can deepen it by using your own leg. Twists are very good for stretching the obliques and stimulating your internal digestive organs also liver experiment with moving the legs higher or lower very important is that the shoulder blades stay on the ground Take easy, gentle breaths in your belly. Become aware of your breath, how it enters your body. Trace the path of the breath. Observe the sensations of the breath on your nostrils. Ask yourself, 
am I in this body lying on the ground in a twisted shape? And slowly come back to center. Bring your legs back to center. Come to a neutral position. When you are ready, move to the other side take your time for the transition transitions are very important never hurry through transitions remember transitions are also part of the practice They have to be mindful, gentle. Choose your variation of the twist. And this time drop the legs to your left side. Shoulder blades stay on the ground. Keep your arms shoulder height or below. Looking over your right side. Eyes gently closed. Stretching the obliques, the glutes, the lumbar back. Twisting the thoracic and cervical spine. Placing gentle pressure on the ligaments of the spine. Easy, gentle breathing. Keep breathing. Observe your physical body. The shape of the body. The weight of the body. Observe the sensations of the body. Ask yourself, am I this body? Or this body is a vehicle for me.
and slowly relax your body bring it to center in a neutral position corpse pose shav asan lie down on the mat feet mat width apart arms next to your body palms facing upwards back of the neck long easy calm breaths corpse pose dead body so let the body become completely relaxed snail pose starting with lying on the floor knees bent Gently move your legs behind your head. Support your back. Hips reaching up towards the ceiling so your spine is a bit straight. Support your lower back properly. Now feet are gently flexed. Knees are straight. in ideal condition hips are over the shoulders so the weight is equally distributed throughout the body snail pose can be challenging pose if you have condition of lordosis or if you have any back issues it might also be challenging for you if you have very tight hamstrings so please make sure you use any props if you need you may want to place a cushion under your feet you may want to place a blanket under your shoulders or maybe under your cervical spine is possible your elbows are coming off the ground so you want to place a blanket under your elbows take your time always take your time to get into a good position how you start a position is very important once you have found a good position stay in the pose for those who find basic snail simple they may drop the knees next to the ears you will have to relax your feet a bit this becomes slightly deeper pose if you don't need this you can stay in the regular snail make sure to support your back at all the time breathing in snail becomes little bit difficult 
So just take easy and calm breaths. Relax into the pose. Very nice stretch for your cervical spine. Be mindful of your thoughts. Observe your current thoughts at this moment. Simply observe and identify. Do not engage in the thought. Simply observe like we are watching TV. Observe how the thoughts keep changing and rolling. Lying down in Shav Asan, that body pose. Complete physical and mental stillness. Your physical body is very heavy, made up of bones, flesh, blood and tissue. Let the body rest on the ground. Let go of the control of your physical body. Let the floor hold your body. Your feet are heavy. sinking into the floor. Let them sink. Your ankles are heavy. Sinking in the floor. Your shins heavy, sinking into the floor. Your 
Your calves are very heavy. Sinking into the floor. Your knees are heavy. Your thighs very heavy. Your whole leg very heavy. Sinking into the floor. Your pelvis is heavy. Your hips heavy. Pulling your body into the floor. The whole spine is very heavy. Your ribs are heavy. Your shoulder blades heavy. Fingers, palms, forearms, upper arms, heavy, sinking into the floor. Your shoulders, neck, heavy. Your skull, your head, heavy, very heavy. The whole body is very heavy, sinking into the floor. Let it go, let the floor hold your body. Lift your legs few centimeters off the ground. Feel the heaviness of the legs and drop. Drop completely. Lift your hips off the ground. Feel the weight of your hips. And drop completely. Lift your arms off the floor. Feel the weight. And drop. Feeling the weight of the head, drop it to right side. Gently feel the weight of your head as it falls slowly to the right side. Bring it to center. Gently move the head to the left side. Feel the weight and bring it to center. The whole physical body is very heavy. Let it rest. Guiding each body part to rest deeply Relax my feet, my feet are relaxed. Relax my ankle.
ankles, my ankles are relaxed, relax my shins, my shins are Relax, relax my calves, my calves are Physical body. 
Slowly bring your awareness back to your body. Move your toes, fingers. Become aware of your breath. Become aware of the deep relaxation you have. Become aware of the surroundings. Take your time keeping your eyes closed slowly. Come in sitting position. To conclude the class, we will chant Om three times together. Breathe in. Shanti, 
शांति शांति थैंक यू